Hi, good morning. We are from Camps Uni. We are going to show you how you can integrate your Camps fingerprint scanner with your web based applications using the JavaScript function provided from Camps. Here I have opened the Camps API documentation page. So you can go here. It explains what are the functionalities and how it works in the top level. So ideally what we are going to do here is we are going to connect the fingerprint scanner and there is a sample HTML file pro provided from CAMS which I am going to show you for demonstrating capture functionality and compare functionality. Okay, so let me go to the sample file. So this is the sample file provided from CAMS unit. For every so every device purchased from the CAMS, you would be provided admin panel which is called API monitor. So I have opened the admin panel here, and my device's service tagger is two four eight four one five three. And let's show you how you can check it in from the sample file. Okay, get service tag ID. Okay, here it is 2484153. Okay, so there are two operations provided. One is a capture, another is compare. So let me demonstrate capturing two functional two fingerprints and comparing them. So first thing, let's say API key is very much important. Let's say I'm clicking capture. So it says okay, AP key is invalid. That means I need to provide the AP key here. Okay. So let me copy the AP key from here. Okay. Okay, AP key is provided. So let me capture here. Another fingerprint. Okay, so two fingerprints are captured. I am going to compare both of them. Okay, here is the score. So ideally, you can integrate your fingerprint scanner with your HTML page or any web websites and web pages developed from any languages. You can integrate JavaScript function to capture the fingerprint and compare them and compare them. Okay. So let me open the sample code as well for your easy understanding. So here you can see the capture function has been called. This is the one who is going to capture the fingerprint. And once the capture is success, on success will be called. And here you can check the operation name and based on that you can differentiate the on success for which operation. So here the uh, uh, data for cap data from capture comes with a uh, background image and a template. So template is the one which you need to store in your server for the feature comparisons because the comparison is going to happen between the templates not the images. Okay. Now you can modify the sample file. Now you can modify the sample file according to your need and use it at your own website. If you have any queries, you can contact sales at the rate campsunit.com or go to www.campsunit.com. Thank you.